Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, uh, the York Mix birthday party. A big round of applause, please. <laughs> Things can happen here in York that just don't happen in other places. And that the very essence of this city is, of course, that we're not Leeds, we're not Sheffield, London or Edinburgh, and that we're a place that stands up and is proud of itself. That, too, is what makes York Mix. I won't... I don't want to uh, expect that you all know the ins and outs of the media landscape, but you'll probably know that in many towns and cities, local newspapers have folded over the last few years, or that the BBC has withdrawn local programming in favour of regionalising radio output, and commercial radio is now basically based in London. But in York, none of that is true. You'll know that we still have a daily newspaper in York in the form of the press, You'll know that there are three radio services that broadcast from the city. And just recently we've seen this at the launch of a brand new podcast to add to the media landscape in the city. A big round of applause for Sophie who's here this evening. We've just launched that. York manages to sustain all of this while other places can't. But why? Why, does it, why is York so different to these places? Put simply, when you find York, and I don't just mean when you find York on a school trip to the Viking Centre and tell everyone how smelly it was, <laughs> but rather when you come and put down roots, that you remember the place and you don't leave because you love it. You stay here, and even if you commute every day to somewhere else, you find yourself telling people about that quirky little independent restaurant you found at the weekend, or that brilliant event that you stumbled across when you went shopping. And all of this is what drives us to produce York's number one multimedia news and entertainment platform. And we do want to celebrate with you this evening because York Mix has got some big numbers behind it. Two million page views every single month. Woo! Yes! Yeah. They're not all from us clicking refresh. <laughs> 90,000 Facebook, Twitter and Instagram followers translating into hundreds of thousands of interactions every month. 105,000 audio streams every single month, giving us a total of 4 million streaming connections made to York Mix Radio since it launched three years ago. Our top performing post of this week was us saying thank you to our audience for having donated trolley after trolley load of warm clothing to our Appeal with Yorkshire Profiles uh, to keep people warm this winter, those people like homeless people, people in refuges, and those who can't pay their heating bills at this time of year. We're 101% committed to this community. Sometimes that's us making sure we're out there covering a breaking story, or to reassure you that when ITV tells you York's underwater, it's library footage once again. <laughs> Sometimes it's us turning up at a school or a scrap group to talk about how radio is made, or help them produce an advert as part of a classroom task. Sometimes it's supporting big events, such as our own family race day at the world's best race course right here in York. Sometimes it's bringing you really dull pieces from the council by explaining what they mean to you. And sometimes it's us going against the grain as well. We won't ever be the people who tell you York's too busy at Christmas. <laughs> we'll always tell you we're best routes to find to get into the city instead. And sometimes being community focused is all about promoting the amazing array of businesses that exist in our area. People like you guys here this evening. Uh, we are just going to play a very quick game though, so you get a little bit of a taster, if you're not used to listening to our breakfast show, of what you might hear on a morning. We play a game called Mug for the Money. So we have three boxes here. We have A, Nesh, you can be A, B, Victoria, and C. Now, one of these has nothing in it. Boo. Come on, type Thank you. One of them has a York Mix Radio mug. And one of them has a mystery prize. Ooh. On the breakfast show, it's usually cash, it's usually some money, but today it's a mystery prize. Sarah, how's your day been? All right? Been fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, the rules were explained, it's all very simple. Three boxes, you just have to choose box A, B, or C. That's simple. Which one are you going to go for? I have to touch them. 
No, you're not. No. That would be cheating. No touching allowed. <laughs> We're going to go for box C. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go. There was no look. There was no look. I don't know what's in these. Now, Sarah, if you win the one with the mugging, you can be a mug for the money and gamble it away for whatever the mystery prize is. Okay? But if you win the one with nothing in, you're off with nothing. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Right, we're ready. Here we go. Drum roll, please. So, have a drum roll. <laughs> Here we go, it's like deal or no deal, and we've got... Oh, you've won the mystery prize! It's a mystery prize! Yeah. Congratulations! And the mystery prize is two County Stand badges to the Music Showcase, Kaiser Chiefs, at your Grace Corps! Yeah.